How's it going everybody? It's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys an early look at the upcoming Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG in the black and metallic gold colorway. This pair is slated to drop November 30th for $170 US dollars or $225 here in Canada. For anyone watching from Canada, this pair is going to be available through an online raffle through The Closet Inc. The Closet Inc. is my go-to retailer for Jordan Retros, and they're independently owned and operated here in Southern Ontario. So I'll link their Instagram, their website, all that good stuff down below, so be sure to check them out and show them some love. Jumping back to the shoes, this black and gold color scheme is very similar to the 2003 Jordan 1 mids, except for this version, this is a high cut, and there's a bit more gold incorporated on this shoe compared to that one. The entire upper of this pair is constructed out of this shiny patent leather. So on the toe box we have this black patent leather, and this being a Jordan 1, it still has those perforations found throughout. Surrounding the outer edge of the toe box we have more of that black patent leather, and this covers the mid panel of the shoe as well. To give it some much needed contrast, overlaid on top we have a metallic gold colored Nike swoosh, which is again also done in patent leather. Surrounding the ankle collar area on the lateral side only, we have the Air Jordan Wings logo which is debossed in this gold colored finish. And then surrounding the top of the ankle collar, this again is constructed out of that gold patent leather. For the laces, so the standard laces these come with is a flat black colored lace, but they do give you a secondary pair of gold colored laces if you want to give the shoe a little bit more pop of color. And then underneath the laces we have your traditional nylon tongue. This is left in this black color and at the very top we have this black and gold tag with Nike Air branding. Taking out the insoles, these come with your standard Jordan brand insoles. They're completely lined in black on the top, and we have Nike Air branding stamped on the heel in gold. So the upper of these Jordan 1s sits atop this black colored midsole. And again, to give it some added contrast, the stitching that runs across the midsole, this is actually done in gold. Unlike your traditional Jordan midsoles, where the stitching is usually done in the same color as the midsole itself. Turning the shoe over to the bottom, here we have your classic Air Jordan 1 outsole. So this is entirely constructed out of this black colored rubber. We have a circular traction pattern on the forefoot and Nike branding right in the center. So all in all, this is a very sleek and very simple looking Jordan 1. In terms of sizing, so I'm a true size 10 slightly on the wider side and I wear between a 10 or a 10 and a half with my Air Jordan 1s depending on the material and the year of the release. So for these guys, I got these in a size 10 and I'd say that they fit pretty well in a slightly snug way. Because of my wider feet, sometimes I have issues around the pinky toe area right here, as well as where the toe box meets the tongue. So for this pair, it wasn't pinching that bad. So I'd say that generally speaking, you'd want to stick true to size for this model. If for example, you have really, really wide feet and you always go up a half size for Jordan 1s, then I'd stick with that same half size up. But I think everyone else should be okay just sticking true to size. Next up, in terms of comfort, Jordan 1s in general aren't the most comfortable sneaker out there. It's pretty minimalistic in terms of cushioning. All there is is a Nike Air unit underneath the heel, and even with that, you can't really feel it underfoot. In addition to that, with the inclusion of patent leather, this means that it's going to be pretty stiff right out of the box. So you have to factor in that there's an additional break in time required as well, on top of the fact that there's just not too much from a step in comfort perspective. That's kind of one of the reasons why I don't love patent leather on Jordan 1s, in the sense that it looks nice when it's brand new, but it's not the most comfy on feet. Finally, in terms of a quality and craftsmanship standpoint, all in all, I'd say that the quality of the materials were okay. Patent leather is kind of what it is. And again, when it's brand new, it looks really nice. But in my past experience with all my patent leather Jordans, pretty much once you wear it once, you start seeing those creases that basically never go away. Beyond that though, the actual craftsmanship was perfectly fine. All in all, it was a pretty well-made shoe. But for my pair at least, I didn't see any visible glue stains or any serious issues with the craftsmanship. So all in all, I'd say that it was perfectly fine. With all that being said, now let's lace up these black and metallic gold Jordan 1s and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. For my personal taste, this colorway isn't really for me. I think the major reason is because there's just way too much patent leather on this shoe. And I'm at the point in my life where I don't love like an overabundance of patent leather. 
I think it works well in accents like for example the Jordan 11, but covering an entire shoe with patent leather, to me at least, is a little bit tacky and it just doesn't really fit my style. In addition to that, this shoe is pretty much almost all black and I usually prefer my shoes to have a little bit more white or at least just incorporating a little bit more color than this. Still, I can see this working perfectly well for other people, it's just not really my cup of tea. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Air Jordan 1 in this black and metallic gold colorway. For you guys, is this going to be a must cop, is it a maybe or is this a pass for you? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Give me a follow on Instagram at esco8, check out my Twitter account at sean.go and visit my website at seango.ca. So until next time, thanks so much for tuning in. Another big shout out goes out to The Closet Inc. So be sure to check them out and show them some love and I'll catch you guys all in my next video.